Hey everybody, it's Dave at Blue Bears Games, and this week we are... Cracking Packs! So this week, we have decided to open a Kaldheim Set Booster Box. Now I've chosen this box because it is the last box, most likely, that I'll be doing a full box opening in video form. Uh, YouTube has gone to a new thing where you can do what are called shorts, or like I guess it's a 60 second video, I don't remember if it was 60 or 90. And I think what I'm going to do after this box is I'm going to actually do like a pack a day opening. And I'm going to rotate them out. So like for a month I'll do a Kaldheim box because there's 32 packs and or I think there's 30 packs in here. And I'm just going to go from there and see how it goes. Maybe I'll mix and match them every day. Who knows? So I'm still playing with it and I'll see where I go from there. But this may just be the very last unboxing or cracking packs where it's an entire box. So with that said, let's get into it. Alrighty. Let's see. I also chose Kaldheim for a reason. It's not a good reason, but it's a reason. The reason I chose Kaldheim was because people were saying some things about how the Kaldheim boxes were, you know, or the set itself was pretty junky stuff. And I gotta be honest with you, some of the stuff I've seen, not junk, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, I've already opened two of them, this is the third one, and I'm not really hoping to get anything specific, but, you know, we'll kind of go from there and see. I just, I have a couple things I want, specifically like a Rim, Rim Dream Walker, or Realm Walker, whatever it's called. Oh yeah, it, it's a Realm Walker. So, other than that, I don't really care. Uh, this is just for fun, and I actually need some stuff. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, at a cold time, I need some stuff. Not much. I just want to uh, put some budgetary, budget style decks together that I keep, you know, you guys know my budget series. I kind of need some stuff to do that. And rather than do, uh, what's the best way I can put it? Rather than do uh, a bulk purchase because nobody's really selling bulk in my area right now, uh, I decided that I wanted to just open some boxes. It's been a while. And, uh, I figured why not so hopefully you know I'm not looking for anything like I said specific it's it's more along the lines of what I'm doing here today is just looking for the stuff to make other decks with like this one right here uh, I wanted to put an angel deck together on the but on the budget brew deck side so and there's two cards right there right off the bat so first things first we got a rare tundra fumarel 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 so that's the first rare. Like I said, uh, some of these packs, since they're set boosters, are going to be themed. And I wanted to put an angel deck together anyway, so that's a good start. What's not a good start is that was the only rare. That's weird. I'm not really sure I understand that one. I know I'm supposed to get a rare, but the way that it was put in there was weird. It's been a while since I opened some, some boosters, so bear with me as I get used to doing it again. It's, it's you know, it's all coming back. All right. Don't care about the art cards at all. Not really sure, you know. I do like these though. I said this the last time. The snowlands that are searchable as duels. Really nice. So, and I'm just going <laughs> to rifle through as many commons as I can to get to the uncommons and rares. And then kind of go from there. So, Great Hall, Stormheim. I send the Worthy. And Rally the Ranks is the rare. I actually want this specifically for the Angel deck. So, that's pretty good. Uh, like I said, budgetary, you know, budget deck building is my thing, so it behooves me to pull that in a disdainful stroke, disdainful stroke as the foil. Other than that, I don't really care about what I open again, like I said. I know I'm repeating myself, like I said, it's been a little while since I did a crack pack, a crack and pack series video. Alright, so... Foil, snow cover mountain. Always nice to get snow covered lands in foil. And then rifle through the common so you guys don't have to worry about that. And again, another angel themed pack, I'm sure, and that's going to help what I need to do for an angel deck. So, man, it's just. <laughs> I do like the set boosters. Alright, and then a burning rune demon. And what I, uh, what I usually do, it's been a while since I've done it, so I'll have to do a reminder here that. When I'm done the box, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go onto the TCG Player app, and at the end of the video, 
I'll put the price, the total price of the box. I don't remember what I paid for these boxes. I'm sure it's on my first two videos. I believe it was 92 a box or something like that. So anything after that. Monetarily speaking is great, but I think that for the, me, this is more along the lines of, this is a deck building uh, thing. I just want to get stuff that I can build decks with. Poison the Cup is one of them. Yeah, this is pretty much, and again, another one, Reflections of Lichar. I have that on my, my list of bulk rares that I want to buy, just because I can do really interesting deck builds with some of that. Uh, let's see, that's a common. Reckless Crew, so a second rare. And I know that there is something else in here I can get, which is the set, uh, not the set, the, uh, the list cards. So, there's a lot of reasons to open a box right now, specifically set. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, a conversation with a friend of mine yesterday. Oh, another snow-covered land, uh, foil land. Uh, and I, w I was talking to him, and I kind of came up with, I think that the only thing, I, I said this before, and I was testing it. The only thing I'm going to buy as far as booster boxes going forward will be set boosters. And I think that's going to remain the same. Do -do -do. Looks like I got an elf theor uh, themed pack here. And a pyre of heroes. I can use that in, de in budget deck building. Always nice. Sculptor of Winter. Breakneck Berserker. And then a foil shapeshifter. Or I'm sorry, a token shapeshifter. Uh, I think Realm Walker is the card I was trying to say earlier. Realm Walker is the card that I'm looking for for my own personal use. Other than that, everything else seems to be... I mean, I'm sure I'll find other stuff. Oh, yeah, there are lands in here, aren't there? Alright, so let's start getting a little quicker. I've been trying to figure out ways to make my videos a little shorter so that everybody can get a chance to watch the whole thing. And my problem is actually coming in that I'm long-winded, as you can tell. Uh, Bergy God of Storytelling is the rare. Hey, Vega the Watcher, nice little... Vega the Watcher. That's going there. And a foil giant amulet. So. But yeah, I'm long-winded. Sorry about that. Not really. I like to talk magic. I like to, to talk things out. And in my head, things end up working out right. So. If you don't like long videos, you can always watch them at times two speed if you needed to. Elven Ambush. Alright. Boreal Outrider. The rare Calamity Bearer, and a King Narfi's Betrayal, another rare, and then a Frostbite, and then a Foil Horizon Seeker, and then a Token. Doo -doo -doo. So yeah, I've decided that in, in, an, in an effort to make these videos shorter, I think I'm going to do a pack a day, and I might just randomize the pack, whatever I feel like opening at the that time or if I need something from a set I'll, I'll hope to get something out of it and that's what I'm gonna do Narfi the Betrayal King it's just such a good card and that and then I got a mythic here it's Battle Mammoth it's a uh, 5 to chaos 6 5 trampler and whenever a permanent control becomes a target of a spell or ability and opponent controls you may draw a card and it foretells it's not bad it's not bad replicating ring not bad either story seeker foil and my list card, it looks like it was a rare back in the day, a Dijin Illuminatus. Not a very good one. Hopefully this is not the only <laughs> card I get. I mean, it's okay, but I mean, it's 7 to KS for a 3-5. I mean, it's crap. That's bad. I'm hoping that's not the only rare list card I pulled from here. I mean, I pulled a, an Eldrazi Titan out of the last one. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, I'm going to go to one pack a day. I think I'm just going to put one up a day just for the fun of it. See how that goes for the first month. And I think I'm going to do it with a Strixhaven box to start with. Just for the fun of it. And kind of go from there. The Raven's Warning. Good for budget. I have a budget deck that, that can go in. Uh, black, or I'm sorry, Bark Channel Pathway. It's the green blue one. So it's Bark Channel and Tide Channel Pathway. That's actually not a bad pull for me. I need that. And a third rare in the pack, Certland Elemental, Elementalist. And then an Augury Raven Foil. So, that wasn't a horrible pack. The Pathways have, since they have come out, have actually had a purpose in a lot of decks, especially in Commander. I do a lot of building with them now just because they kind of help you fix your mana in two and three color decks. So, 
Let's see here. What's the theme for this pack? It looks like returning or bounce. Ooh, not really that much of a theme when there's only one uncommon. Draugr Necromancer. This is one of the cards I was hoping to get. I have a, uh, a zombie deck that I want to put that in, so that's always nice. Uh, Magda, the Brazen Outlaw, in the alternate or alternate frame or whatever they call it for Kaldheim. So other dwarves get plus one plus zero guy. Not bad. Good for... Uh, oh, come on. Good for budget deck building. And then uh, my list card in here is a Victimize. <coughs> so... Alright. <clears throat> There's a lot of air in these packs. I know that I had this problem when I opened the last one up. Alright, let's see. So, and I'm going to want your opinion on this too. Like, when I do make the switch over. When I make the switch over to doing one of these a day rather than a whole pack. I just actually did a, a, a Maja, Maja Bretgar Protector commander deck and I'm going to have that video up very soon <clears throat> icebreaker kraken blizzard brawl skull raid foil and then a bird token <laughs> all right we're a third of the way through what's my time here 11 minutes not good got to pick up the pace all right no signature I like the lands out of this set, too. Wow, that's a lot of uh, sagas in one one pack. Dream Devour. Skemfar Avenger. Pilfering Hawk for a common. Foil. That's a pretty cool looking foil, actually. Okay. And then trash all right but yeah i want some opinions on how it goes i'm going to do it just you know to start i'm going to see how it works out and go from there and then i'm going to want some opinions some some feedback from everybody on if you like it at one pack at a time if you like it at a box at a time i just made it another deck a commander deck off of finn too so that works all right, Ascendant Spirits the Rare. That's not really that good. Fersia. I might make a commander deck out of that. The Bloody Massacre is my foil rare, which is not really that great. What does this do? And how bad did I get screwed here? Create a demon token. Whenever Berserker attacks this turn, draw a card and lose life. And add red for each Berserker, which... How many Berserkers are there in, the, in Magic? Let's just be honest. That's like a 25 cent foil rare. So, yay! Don't have anything I can even build off of that. Alright, I can't even build anything off of that. Alright, let's see. Do, do, do. Alright, more sagas. Sagas, I really don't like the sagas. Oh look, it's, I believe the, the, the regular version of the crap I just got is a foil. So, yay, two in a row. Um, and then, oh! So I did get a second rare. Okay, so the foil is a Raven Wings, and then I, I got a, a, a rare from the list, a rare card from the list. It's the Command Beacon, which is to add one colorist mana to your mana pool, and then sacrifice the beacon and put your commander from your uh, into your hand from the command zone. And we were just, I just saw a conversation about that and how people are trying to pull their commanders into uh, into either player into your hand from the command zone without casting them. So interesting how that works. All right. So yeah, feedback, feedback, feedback. When I start doing it, I'll I'll uh I'll make a new section on the channel. It'll just be a daily pack pool. I'm probably gonna still call crack and pack, so you're ready for that. All right, Sigrid, God favored. Uh, I believe that's one of the better ones. Egon. Oh, I got. Oh look, it's legendary creature theme. Uh, death touch for Egon. Got a death. Blah, 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 and on the other side is Throne of Death. So, oh, damn, I was hoping to keep the party going with more legendary stuff so that I can make more decks out of them. And Godspell Cleric, and then a Fratell token. <clears throat> mm. 
All right. No signatures yet. I don't really care about them, but not a single one yet. So. Path of the World Tree. I'm hoping to get the World Tree at all in one of these packs because I have a deck that really could use it. Three Seasons, Elvish Warmaster. That's a good one. I like that one. I have an elf deck, so I, uh, my commander for Omnath, it's an elf deck, so that might work there. Cosima, I know that I have a, uh, a deck that I'm going to be using that uses Exile or Fertel, and that's Rainer. I'm going to be upgrading, and, and oh look, a third card that I've been looking for, so I can take them all off my list. All three I was looking for. In one pack I got them, so Canopy Tactician is a Elf Lord, love it. Man, I was hoping that the foil would be even better. That would have really topped that off, so... That was a great pack as far as my deck building goes for my own personal decks. My Rainer deck, which is my going to be my Fertel deck, <laughs> is going to get Kosima. And then my Elf deck is going to get that. And then I might even start making some, some Elf budget decks with all the Elves that I'm getting. Plus, I, I also got the, uh, the Precon that was the Elf one, and that had a lot of stuff in it. All right, Faceless Haven, the bane of all of arena players right now because it just turns into a man, gets enchanted or, or puts the counter on it, and then it keeps them alive forever. Halvar, God of Battle, Mythic, it's one of the gods, and it's the one that turns into an equipment, so that's not bad. Uh, Agar, and then Village Rights Foil. So, hmm. Again, I don't know what the prices are of the cards. I don't pay attention to prices all too often. Mainly because I, I do budget stuff. So, like, when I'm building, if it's more than a dollar, two dollars, or three dollars, I just don't put it in the deck because it goes above the budget for the budget decks that I sell. And I want to keep them at a certain pace so people aren't playing with stuff that's worth too much and they're damaging them if they don't put them in. Ooh, that's perfect. So they don't damage them while they're playing because they don't put them in sleeves. Uh, I think this is something I'm looking for. I haven't been able to make a budgetary uh, Black Red or Rakdos deck yet, or whatever it is now in in uh, Strixhaven, but uh, this is one of the cards that I'm going to make uh, a budget deck on. I didn't have one. I opened two boxes and didn't pull one, so that's good. All right. The Rare here, Breckless Crew. And then a uh, Common here is... That, and then that, and then I got another list card, Noble Benefactor, which does me nothing. I have them already regularly without the stupid Planeswalker symbol, so. And they're in my bulk. Alright. There it is. There's the first signature. What is card is this? My first signature out of this box is for one of the, one of the uh, lands, so that's not a bad thing. Arcane Tree Line. I love these, these snow duels they they really i wish they would have done something like that a long time ago all right orvar there's my mythic my second mythic or i think it's my third orvar is a good one pilfering hawk does nothing did you do and then a seraph pack mate i have a wolf uh, budget wolf deck that i made recently and i didn't you know that's a nice little pickup right there to add to it if I decide to start putting non-rare foils into the packs just because I'm going to run out of four rares to put into, or into the decks because I'm going to run out of them and i got to replace them with something. So it might just be regular foil from the common slot. All right, what else we got here? All right. Shepherd of the Cosmos, it's an angel, so maybe this is another angel theme again. Nope, it's not. Battle for Breckguard. Mm, not bad. Narfi. I do love Narfi. It's one of my favorite newer zombies. There's no rare in here. Oh, there it is. Sorry. My bad. Wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking through. Battle for Breckguard is the rare. I was going to say, there's no freaking rare. I've had a pack where I got no rare, actually. I was not happy about it. And I was told, go, uh, go pound sand. <laughs> I sent them a message, and they're like, we have no proof, so go pound sand. It was from Kansatark here, too, which sucked, because that's the set that had fetch lands in it. You know, it could have been a fetch. It could have been a foil fetch land, for all I care. 
All right, let's see here. Tyrite Sanctum. Not the land I'm looking for. I want the World Tree. Oh, that sucks. Agar, Mass Vandal as the foil. And then this is the second one I've pulled. Uh, I've pulled Evermind out of... I mean, the list is like four or 500 cards. I think it's like 327 or something like that. But this is the second time I pulled Evermind out of one of the set boosters, I believe. Let's see. It's got no casting cost, which is great. Draw a card. Evermind is blue and spiced on Arcane. I mean, it's it's not horrible as far as the card goes. I mean, that's what I like to do is draw cards, especially for free. <laughs> All right. Ooh, another... Uh, oh, stop giving me that. Really? So, I think that I said it too soon. Now I've got a signed World Tree, but it, it's just the art. It's not the card. I mean, blow me. <laughs> I just need a world tree. I want to put it into my, uh, my, uh, what do you call deck? Uh, the, uh, what the hell is the deck? I want to put it in. It's about trickery. Uh, the, the, the Golos. I'm going to put it in my Golos deck. Old Growth Troll. Priest of the Haunted Edge. Foil Infernal Pet. And another list card. Shivan Meteor. Bleh. Horrible. Foil, snow covered mountain. And where are the islands for the snow, for the, for the foil snow coverts? I need them. I need them for my decks. All right, Bloodline Pretender, Immersturm Predator. Yeah. Yeah. And then another list card, and I don't even know what that is. He could sure. So foil torment for some. Moon eating dog. What a bad name. <clears throat> Four to cast three three as long as you control Yangling, which I don't even own one of those. It has flying. Sure, whatever. <sighs> Great cards for the list, Watsy. Alright, let's see. Usher of the Fallen. Frenzied Raider. Turgrid. Ooh, it's the cool looking one too. Got a fright. I don't think I got a Turgrid. Oh yeah, I did. I got a regular Turgrid, but I didn't get one of these. That's a cool looking card right there. Alright, that's not bad. And that's the one that is the lantern on the back. That's not bad. That's not a bad pull, everyone. Yeah. Uh, iron verdict and then a foot. Yeah, whatever. That might be the most valuable card I pulled so far. I think. I don't know. I don't know the prices of these cards. I don't pay attention to the to the card prices until later. I also haven't had a uh, whatchamacallit in a while. Ooh, I like that. That's even better. I love pulling a foil one of those. I haven't done a, a convention in a while since the COVID hit. So I don't have to pay attention to prices. Now I can just build stuff and, and have fun. And that's what I've been doing. Alright. <laughs> Sir Ulf, the Realm Eater. Realm Eater. I didn't get a Realm Walker. I got some packs left. What do I got here? It's a wolf. It's a black green wolf. Alright. I'll look at wolves again. I haven't got a lot of uncommon foils now that I think about it. Then again, there's a foil in every pack, I believe, and I think it's rare to get anything other than a common. Alright. So, Snow Covered Island. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Broken Wings. I actually started using that in some of the budget decks I make because it actually has a lot of things it can do defensively. All right. Ruined Crown. Don't care. The, the Rare is a Cosmos Charger, and I'm going to do a Fortel deck, so. Forging of the Tyrite Sword. Okay. And a Shard. A Shard. It's no rock, but it'll work. Alright, nothing signed there. Do 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 let's see. My pile of cards hath runneth over. There's a lot of runes there. Alright, we got a pathway. We got the black, red one. So not bad. I mean I, I need the pathways anyway. Royal again, and then a mammoth growth. 
And another rare list card. Sensei Golden Tail. It is a Fox Samurai 2 to cast 2 1 Bushido. Bushido. And then put a training counter on target creature. That creature gains Bushido 1 and becomes a Samurai in addition to other types. Play this ability anytime you can play a Sorcery. Eh, I don't think it's worth anything. I don't see. I don't have anything that could use Samurai or Bushido, so. That's what I think of that. Oh, heh, it's just laughing at me now. Second art. It's the only repeat art, I believe. And of course, it's a world tree. I think that happened in one of my other boxes, too, where all I care about is getting a world tree just to put in my damn deck, and it's not going to give me one. For the third box, this is box three. All right, Essica's Chariot. What a crap card. Nice bind pillar. Oh, my second full rare. Rally of the Ranks. That's actually not bad, because in my budget decks, I do put a full rare in, and this could be it. If, if if it comes down to it, it could be it. So, Rally of the Ranks is the full rare. And it's choose a, cre choose a creature type, and the creatures of that type get plus one, plus one. And I do a lot of uh, uh, tribal decks for the budget reasons, just to show people how to build them and how to do them, and blah, 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 blah whatever. Yada, yada, yada. All right, let's see. And again, I didn't have high hopes for this box anyway, just because I don't really care what I get. All right, what we got? Blessings of Frost. What is this? Why is this in here? I got a full art mythic Quake Bringer. Five to cast. Your opponents can't gain life. The beginning of upkeep deals two damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only if it's on the battlefield or if there's a if it's in your graveyard and you control a giant. I have a deck idea for that. I really do. I think I was just reading that card earlier today. <laughs> and I believe I was like, oh, I could make a deck out of that. But I don't have one. Guess what? I not only have one, I have a full art one. All right, last pack, everybody. Come on, World Tree. Maybe a Realm Walker. I don't care monetarily. I only care because I want to put it in a deck. All right, Bounding Gold. Well, the, the uncommons came quickly on that one. Uh, Nico defies destiny, Gates of Istfell, Vega the Watcher, saw it coming. Jeez, ew, look at all these uncommons. Nope, didn't get it. What a shitty box. Alright, showdown of the Skulls Rare, Grim Draugr, and then a Boreal Rider as the foil, and then a Giant Wizard as the final token. So, with that, you know, I mean, I don't, again, I, wow, look at that pile of, like, rares and foils i don't know monetarily speaking i'm sure that has some value i, I want to use that for a deck i don't know monetarily speaking what this box is going to come out to be again i don't care it was like 92 dollars or something like that and the only thing i cared about was i want to build decks i need more stuff to build decks and i didn't have a whole lot of this open called Heim itself i don't have a whole lot of strixhaven open so i don't have stuff that i want to do because some of the newer stuff is really cool so I've got the box open, I've got some stuff, I'm going to go through and see if I can make some more decks. I've got about 40 decks made for Budget Brews, uh, the Battle Brews decks, which are the 60 card decks. I've got about 12 or 13 new Commander decks ready to go. So uh, if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, go to my Facebook page, it's BlueBearGames.online from Facebook. And go ahead and take a look and, and I'll, uh, I'll put a link in, in the video as well and you can take a look at that see if you have anything you like especially if you're a newer player and you don't want to build a deck that's what they're for uh, i take that whole part out of it and they're not wizards decks so not everybody in the world has gotten it so you know they're going to know already what you're playing that's one of the reasons why i do it other than that watsi or wizards whatever you want to call them they throw a lot of fluff into their stuff and i take the fluff out so anyway so that may just end up being my final long full box Kraken Packs video. I'm still gonna, I'm still on the fence about it. I'm gonna tr give it a try and do the the new YouTube Shorts videos and make them less than a, you know, less than a minute long or a minute long, whatever they give you. And I'll go from there and we'll see how that works going forward, just so I can keep the time down. But other than that, uh, do me a favor, like the video, it doesn't cost you anything. Nothing that I ask you to do will ever really cost you anything. 
when it comes to the video side like the video it it, it helps my analytics so that I can get more views from other people that may not have known I exist. And that's all I'm trying to do. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Again, that's also free. I don't know why you wouldn't. I don't put out enough videos that I'm going to be annoying. Or if you don't think I put out enough videos, tell me. I can put more out. I've got plenty of, of material to go by for the next year. So either way, subscribe. It doesn't, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, share the video out to anybody who you think may like it and may also subscribe. That would help me out as well, too. So, uh, Other than that, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, suggestions, whatever have you, uh, I have the, I'll have put up here the way to contact me. Uh, you can go to the Facebook page. It's Bluebirds Games at, on Facebook. You can email me, bluebirdsgames at gmail.com. Or you can put a comment in the section below and tell me how to contact you. And then we can go from there if you don't feel like contacting me directly. Either way, uh, that's my time for the week. I want to thank you for watching, and I want you to enjoy your week.